All right, so we're gonna go through. Uh, we're gonna do the next one after doing the Goblin one. So the Goblin one is the ancient key of the 12 dark secrets. And again, having our journal open, sorting by name. So there you go. Um, The other thing, just so you can see is again, I am level four and I have a level four monk gloves. Constitution is currently down, but you know what, it's fine. I'll go through and use that really quick. We should be good. All right, so there are two ways to go through and do this one. Um, the first way is going through and fighting everything, and I'll show you where the entrance is. Um, you know what, I'll go through, this is going to be a little bit longer, but I'll do it this way because it is um, more above board to show you all the different ways. So I'll go through and show you the first way to do it. Um, and I'm, I am personally not going to fight anything just because I don't feel like it and I want to make the video shorter for you, but I will at least show you the path that you'll need to run. Um, now the second thing, there, or rather the second way, is substantially shorter, and um, when you see it, you'll understand why I, uh, uh, why there's a little bit of hesitation, and I'm sitting here going, but do I really want to do it? Well, you know what? For you guys, yes, I do, um, because it's one of those things where when you're in the point of uh, going through and doing this quest, you want to be able to have that choice one way or the other. Alright, so the first way is you go through, you run south through salt fields, you keep following the road, and once you get to the bridge right here, you go through and you split off to the right. Um, it is to the west on the map, reorienting the map for north, this is the way that you're going. But you are, it, I find it easier to do it this way. Um, you're going to go through, and I am going to use a potion of invis. Now you can do this at level 3, and again, I could go through and do it and get the XP, but at the moment I'm not really worried about the XP. Um, there are some tricks and different things that I'll probably show you all later in a video, in a later video, on how to go through and level up quickly. But for now, um, this is what it, I'm just going to go through and do it this way. Now you can go through and get these piles of lodestones and grab the different lodestones that are in them. Um, I will probably do a video at a different time on using the forge, which is in this area. But for now, I'm just going to go through and bypass it. But just wanted to point that out that in this on this level. Um, in the mines, you can go through and find quite quite a few of those that have the raw load stones in them. Um, you're going to come down, you're going to come up to this bit right here that has this nice little curve on this bit right there, indicating the little blue-green part there, indicating that it is a er, an area transition. Alright, so once you come down here, you're going to go... Sorry. You're going to go... Where, oh, don't, 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 don't. Good, good. Alright, you're going to go here and go straight across on a quick left and come here to deeper into the caves this is the second floor and now we're on to the third one all right so you're gonna go straight down we're gonna come down this path this path right here oh come on point the right direction you come on and it, it really isn't that hard now again all of these um, mobs I could go through and fight but for speed's sake I'm just ignoring them and um, take a good look at right here because this is gonna be a, a nice little spot in a couple of moments that you're gonna see again and you're gonna see oh this is so much faster um, so you can run all that way and for just for the record at the very top um, that gate that you go through is actually the gate that has um, is the gate that you need the key from the goblin quest in order to be able to get through. So if you go through and you uh, use the other method that I'll show you in a moment to get down here, you're going to need to run out, um, or rather to be able to exit the area. And there are only two ways at that point that you can exit the area. Either one or three ways. First one is you have the key. Second one is that you have a portal rune. So if you have a portal rune, you don't have to get the key first. You can do this one before you do the goblin one. The other way, number, number three, try to do it in a more American way and I just can't do it. Um, the third way of doing it is to go through and just die and then respawn, which is possible, but I mean, you're here for some XP. Why, why would you do that? And you just come here, just spam, just spam one. Doesn't matter. All right, so there you go. And then portal rune out or just run the same way that you came down, run back out. Um, so so there's that. You, you can do it that way. Now, the other way is you go through, come down through portal plane, come over here, go out to this side, and you're gonna come up to this door right here. So if you look, 
is like the end edge of the temple here lines up with the door. So there are two doors here. Um, go under this one, and it's Marvel's scholar. Um, go through, talk with him. He'll tell you a bunch of stuff. You tell him that you want to go where you're interested in where Marvel went, and then you pay him a thousand gold. Now this is a one time. Once you've paid this, this is not one time per server reset. It is not one time for, per whatever. It's one time. That's it. Character pays one time. A thousand gold, very much worth it. All right, you come here, um, pay the gold, and then go through and drink your potion of Indus. Um, go through again. Tell him number two, you want to go where Marvel went because he was an adventurer, and then you tell him that you want to go to the forge. All right. Now your spawn next to this guy, which is why you need to go through and drink the potion of invis before you go through it. And right here is another pile of lodestones. Um, go through, just walk past all these guys. If you're going through and you're doing the short route and you're just trying to get these done as quick as possible, this is the way that I recommend that you do it. Go through, get a portal stone, or a portal rune rather, and um, drink a potion of invis, run down here and hit the uh, transition, go through the transition, go through the transition, right and then again you run back over there where the water summons is and you're good now right here i'm going to go back and just show you uh, a moment ago while i was down here i went through and pointed out hey you want to pay attention this right here is a ton of extra running that was cut out and just for completeness sake i'm going to go through and run all the way back in like i said it's going to be a little bit longer compared to some of the other ones but still a very very quick video in all um these dark water beetles um at level three you actually probably want to hit them more at level four um they do have an area of effect spell that they use and in mass it is quite a bit of a pain and if memory serves you're either petrified or poisoned and again you just touch this summon talk and you're done and then portal rune out um in case you're going but i don't have a portal rune how do i get a portal rune zach well i have another video about that so go through check out that video get yourself a portal rune and then make yourself make your life easier and you know save yourself tons and tons of time so that is it for this one um like you see here we now have the ancient talisman so we're good and i will catch you all in the next video see you later